I um I am seeing on Twitter this morning everybody's freaking out about Diane Sawyer and the praising Craig Ferguson and all this crap because of some Britney Spears documentary that's been on whatever channel it is, what other streaming services, I don't have it. I don't have money, that's why I don't watch these things, but I remember everything that happened to Britney in real time. I'm old enough to remember. And what's bothering me right now is I sit here and I try to defend, I, somebody starts attacking a celebrity on Twitter. I try to defend them. I start getting attacked. Okay. Cancel culture, I've already talked about, is one of the worst freaking things going on right now. What happened to Britney Spears back then was cancel culture. It wasn't called that though. Here's what I remember about Britney Spears. I remember she had her first song, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Great song. She dressed up like a schoolgirl. Madonna had done that earlier, but obviously Madonna was like a older woman at the time. But the idea was it was like a schoolgirl thing. Now they're going to call it things. They might have called it something then. But at the time, she was doing that. She was being marketed that way. Okay. Then what happens? She continues on. Then she had another song. And she had like a top that was up to here and like her tummy was out. And I remember at the time everybody attacking her because her midriff was out. And like I said, at the time I was in my early 20s. Um, so this must have been, I don't know, or somewhere around the turn of the century. And um, I'm saying, what the hell are you people doing? Because... Because Britney was young, she had little fans. And there was this idea that her little fans were going to be so corrupted by this woman because her tummy was out. And I'm saying to myself, I'm in my early 20s. These people, if they were super religious or whatever the hell they were, condemning Britney, if they were my age, they were going around dressed like Madonna when they were kids. Or listening to Madonna and their whole family thought it was cute. Oh, look at her. But 10 years on, 15 years on, whatever the hell it was, now all of a sudden, lock this girl up, her stomach's out. And I'm saying, e forget Madonna. The people who are complaining about, oh no, my little kids are going to sleep, this slutty little girl with her stomach out. Back in the 60s, Gidget and all of them. Everybody's tummy was out. Midriff was like, that was a fashion like in the 60s or whatever, where you wore like a half shirt and your tummy was out and it was sexy and people were supposed to be sexy and it wasn't a real problem. This is what I'm saying. People who maybe weren't, maybe in their 20s now, whatever, weren't alive back then. You have to understand, people acted normal. They weren't crazy, religious, Puritans, whatever the hell happened. I think get, getting towards 2000, people thought the world was going to end. So they all, be, some of them, a lot of them became super religious and became crazy Bible belt people or whatever, where they thought that they had to like live like olden times before Jesus comes and smacks them on the head. But something happened somewhere in the nineties. Things got really strange <clears throat> and people got really judgmental, seeming to be based on evangelical stuff we had an evangelical president in george w bush there became a lot of religious right bullshit okay so that but that was that now this is why i'm so confused now in with the cancel culture because that's coming from the left the left were the people who are supposed to be hippie free love you know everything goes type people now it's the left who are cancel culture it doesn't matter what direction it's coming from. It's still cancel culture. So I can guarantee you back then I was defending Britney like I'm defending celebrities now. And if you're people who are canceling celebrities now, you would have been canceling Britney back then because it's the same thing. You're famous. You appear to have everything. I don't. I don't approve of your behavior. So I have decided you don't deserve what you have that I don't have, and I'm going to take you down. That's judgmental. That's cancel culture. It's sick. It kills people. I remember Brittany when she freaked out and shaved her head. And I sat there, I'm like, these people treat these kids like crap. They want them to kill themselves or whatever. She, poor girl freaked out. She shaved her head. And I'm thinking she had a bad day. What happens? 
after that, she was like the poster child for mental illness. They medicated this kid for the rest of her life. They took away all her rights because she freaked out one day from the pressure, the insurmountable pressure that was being put on her by everyone. You, okay, you saw this Diane Sawyer interview. Maybe you weren't alive when this stuff was going on. The whole world was like that. Okay, that was hard-hitting journalism. And they did it all the time, and they did it to every celebrity because it's a story, and they and why do they do it, though? Because they'll get ratings. What are ratings? Ratings are people at home eating it up. People at home who want to tune in and see... Britney Spears treated like trash. Whitney Houston treated like trash. Janet Jackson treated like trash. And it list goes on and on. How much were people loving the destruction of Tom Cruise? Oh, right, he's not a woman, so we're not going to count it because he's a white male privilege. But it happened. You put these people up on a pedestal, then you want to tear them down. And you know it goes all the way back to Jesus because that's exactly what it is every freaking time. People see you up there then they want to crucify you. It's all about, they did it to Michael Jackson. They do it to celebrities because at some point the masses are like, who the hell do you think you are? I'm going to take you down. That's what all this is. You're doing this. She has been in that situation all these years. Nobody cared. Somebody brought up that kid. There was that guy years ago, years ago, who was crying, leave Britney alone. Everybody made fun of him. Okay, because he cared enough about this woman he didn't probably know. Probably, I don't know if he ever met her. And now you're all going to act like, oh, you would have been right there because you have that mentality. All of you cancel culture calling out people, SJWs, who every freaking day got to find a new celebrity to cancel. Don't sit there and hashtag free Britney because you would have been over there dragging her, adding to everything. Nobody in the media does anything unless you don't, unless you ask them to, because it's all about ratings. If you don't tune in, they're not going to do it. And that's what's driven the media to be morons all these years is that people, people didn't want to see the story about all oh, oh, a nice Britney Spears being happy. They wanted to see her destroyed. They wanted to see her crumble. I'll tell you what else I went, I saw it happening to another kid. The next generation, they were doing it to Justin Bieber. Now, he's again, he's a white male, so privileged, but it was the same template. The kid what had an, an enormous amount of pressure, hugely famous, young fans. So everything he did, they were going after him, going after him. I remember him having problems with his neighbors. I remember him, all kinds of stuff. They were ready, and, and I would watch these people, when it was Britney, when it was Justin, and I'm like, people want them to kill themselves. That's what they do with every celebrity, and I, like I said, in the last four or five years, it's been based around Me Too and um, maybe people who were maybe sexual predators of some kind, maybe, maybe not. Nobody waits for proof either way. It doesn't matter. But the point is, people will now say, oh, it's different because these people really are bad. Well, back then, those people who were trying to cancel, or they didn't call it cancel then, but they wanted to see Britney fall. They wanted to see Justin Bieber fall. They wanted to see Whitney Houston fall. They wanted to see Michael Jackson fall. They wanted to see Tom Cruise fall. They wanted to see Mel Gibson fall. And I'm telling you, these are people they put up here. And then they want them to come down here. It's the Jesus story over and over again. Over and over and over again. You put somebody up on high and then you want to crucify them. And any Christian who believes in that and says, oh, no, I'm, you know, they, they believe in God and they believe in Jesus and they're born again and all this stuff like that. Then they turn around and do exactly 
to these celebrities. They're celebrities, mind you. But they do the exact same thing that was done to him. Lies, deception, mob mentality. Crucify him. Crucify him. This is what people are doing with celebrities. This is why I'm saying I grew up Catholic, but I believe in all kinds of things. I believe in karma. I be just basically the golden rule. Nobody's following the golden rule. Nobody's checking themselves. And I guarantee you these people right now on Twitter, free Britney, free Britney. They were eating it up. Back in the day, there were still tabloids. People don't really buy magazines anymore, but people would sit there and read those magazines and have their snacks and be like, oh yeah, I knew all that about her. And they would just enjoy the hell out of celebrity gossip. There's still TMZ. There's still stuff like that. And there are those people who are going to sit there and rejoice in some really rich and famous person having problems. Were everybody celebrating Tom Brady two days ago, right? How much were people enjoying Deflategate? How much were people who hated supposedly the Patriots, but it was Tom Brady? How much were people because he had too much? He was a gorgeous guy with a gorgeous wife. Perfect at his job. No, perfect at his job. But one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Now we find out why it's not true. Oh, good. Oh, good. Let's take him down. Let's. Let, we can't stop him on the field of play, so let's not let him play. People hate anybody who excels, who's at the top of their game, who appears to have everything. They say, I don't have that. They're rich. They have everything. They're fair game because their life is so great. I could say whatever I want to about them on social media. I could say whatever I want to about them. I can rejoice when somebody takes them down a notch. People admit, oh, I want to see Tom Brady taken down a notch. Now, nobody can deny it, right? But how many times did he have to cruise himself over and over again? How much bullshit and lies did he have to endure? How much do people want to come after him still because of who he may have supported in a presidential race? Who even knows? at this point he hasn't said anything about any of that crap in the longest time but there are going to be those people who want to take somebody down those people are going to watch whatever this documentary is showing because like i said i saw it all happen in real time and they're gonna be like oh poor britney i can't believe people treated her like that oh let me hate this celebrity over here let me take him down let me get on my social media but we'll cancel so and so so and so is over party anybody who is trying to cancel somebody anybody who is saying everybody every it's a different celebrity every day who was the last one was over Marilyn Manson is over party um anybody you tweet one of those hashtags you're exactly the kind of person who would have brought down Britney in the day she's a hot mess that poor girl she's constantly posting them sad pictures on Instagram you know if I had money and guns and a freaking car I would go and liberate that poor girl these people don't care about her. I've been thinking this this whole time. I, you know, I knew she had had the conservatorship years ago, but until the last couple years when they started, she kept trying to get out of it. I didn't realize it was still going on. When I realized she's been under that for all these years, a grown adult woman, because she shaved her head once, that was the one thing they needed to do to control her and manipulate her for the rest of her life and leave her a prisoner and a slave. And everybody knew about it. And it's only now because of a documentary. Uh-uh. There's plenty of people somewhere around my age and older who knew all this shit, watched it happen every step of the way. And they were just like, oh, no, that's normal. She's crazy. I remember that time. She she, she needs her Her father must love her. She needs her father to handle all her affairs. Mm -hmm. The same people who on the other side will be this misogynist, that misogynist. You know what I mean? Me too, me too. Have been sitting there letting Britney rot. Okay, now they're going to, because of a documentary, because of a documentary, free Britney. Why? Because everybody else is saying free Britney. Because of a documentary. It happens right in front of your face. But you need it to be a TV show. You need it to be a TV show. For you to find it in your heart to pretend to give a shit. Anytime you cancel a celebrity. You're trying to cage Britney all over again. It's just a different person. It's jealousy. It's hatred. 
20 years from now, you're going to do a documentary on the, the celebrity you canceled today, the one who maybe died from suicide or from overdose after everything they went through because of the heart. I mean, the people, the way these people have withstood the amount of hatred that's being thrown in them every the, the amount of negative, horrible, disgusting energy going towards them from millions of people every day. Anybody that's happening to right now, that's why I feel bad. Because nobody deserves that. And that's what I'm saying. And when I say nobody deserves it, I'm told I have no soul. Because I don't hate the person I'm supposed to. I don't hate the celebrity I'm supposed to. I don't want them to be canceled. I don't want them to lose their whole career. I don't want them to end up that low that you want to bring them. So that they may end up destroying themselves. Because that's what you people want to do. You want to tear down. You want to crucify. So if you want to free Britney, don't cage anybody else. Live your life. Stop judging people. Stop crucifying people. The people who did it back in the day, did it to Jesus, they were 100% certain too. They knew he was bad. They said, no, don't save him. Save Barabbas. It's you. It's you. It's you. You want to cancel people? Cancel means crucify. Cancel means crucify.